takedown defense holds up. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Pace early on to this one. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the U.S. Change of the position. Uses pass attempt to knock. Strikes here. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet. And we are back underway. Fight. I need you to go Try to establish that jab. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh, big left hand there. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Swing and a big miss by George St. Pierre. That was a hard body kick. Judges here. Look how wobbly he is. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Escape. Just over two minutes, round one. Well, he's got his back now. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Ooh, that looks tight. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style. Block. He gets denied. Block. Oh, looks like he's countering here with maybe a bar. Oh, he's got the... Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. He's way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Oh, right into Mount. We approach the one minute mark in the first round. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, stands. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively but also defensively. Seconds winding down in the opening round. That strike, we will keep an eye on it as the fight continues. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. 
You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two here. Oh, big head kick there. That kick blocked by Hughes. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that it allows him to put forth this type of output in his. When his opponent is done at two, he is bringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Rips the body there. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. Doesn't need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenue to land the shot. St. Pierre gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Able to check the high kick. Kick to the body now, that one hurt. Oh! That knee, that knee hurt him. Oh! Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find... Shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the butt. That would end the night. Oh, he just hurt. Man, what a fight. Oh, my God. Man. Just out of range with that right hand. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, nice kick. Entering in on a single leg takedown attempt here, and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job there. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see... Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, he might be in trouble. That looks like this. He's advanced to a finishing position. you got to be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. Oh, postures up and now goes with the big strike to the body. Well done there by Hughes. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. about his game plan, he was going to attack the body, and he does so effectively yet again. Well, how about the discipline? How about the discipline to stay close, to not rush, to not go head hunting, knowing that down the line, all these body shots will pay off for him. And now you can see it starting to happen. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good... Watch the armbar, Rumble. Watch the armbar here. That submission was tight. Oh, belly down on ball. And now he turns and puts his weight over the top of the arm. Oh, he got out. And notice how he got his body all the way across to the opposite side. Now, he's in the on belly, but it's much better than where he was before. Wow, we told you to keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now, and he continues to target that area wisely. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it... Oh, he's going for his arm now. Ooh, that submission looks tight. Oh, that's got to be it. No way, he got out. This is a guy that never gives up for himself. He was able to clear his head, defend the arm bar. The fight looked done. He loves to fight on. And look at him attacking the arm triangle. 
Michaels on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass all the way across his body. Once he gets across, he will start to drop his chest to the mat and change the pace. He's working very hard to try to get the sub. Arm triangle attempt. He's got to get that elbow going forward. He's got to drop his chest to the mat. Don't squeeze. Let your shoulder do the work and you'll get the pass. So the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Ready to fight. Ready. Go All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big cut to right here. Oh, really and lands an elbow on the inside. Good work from the top here by Hughes. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Making all these shots count. Big right hook there by the champ. Trying for a submission here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. The triangle choke is locked in. This is a beautiful technique. He just has to get his feet back behind his knees. Oh, he got out again. He got out again. It's unbelievable. And there it is, was only a matter of time. That ground strike has cut him open. Hughes is going for the sub here. Oh, it's getting deep now, DC. Dude's got a fight on his hands now. Oh, gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. All right, feet on the hips here. St. Pierre's eye is closing up. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by George St. Pierre. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Outstanding pressure from top position here by George St. Pierre. My crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the field. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high level ground exchange between two phenomenal ground. So another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you gotta get out to space, find places to rest or recover, get against the opposite, go to the clinch, find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, it actually has some meaning to it. Landing 
strikes nicely here from top position. St. Pierre's got his hand looking for a guillotine choke. Looking for the guillotine lock right now, and it looks like it's in. He's done a great job of securing it, but now he's got to settle it if he wants to finish the fight. Continues to attack here. We'll see if he can set up the arm ball. Oh, that's got to be it. I don't know. That's in so deep. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. better than getting his arm snapped in half from an arm bar. Most fighters will tell you, oh, setting up another submission now. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Oh, well placed with the hammer fist there by George St. Pierre. Beautiful ground strikes landing. Oh, good defense. Yes. Get the ball here. Final seconds here. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, let's look back at some of the action in D.C. A huge round, particularly when it came to that liver strike that really buckled his opponent. It buckled his opponent bad. I'm surprised that the guy's still standing. I don't know exactly what his corner can do to try to bring him back. When you take those types of strikes, you generally don't recover fast. Let's see what they do to try to bring him back. You ready to fight? You ready? have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. He does everything so well. And he's so... Oh, he's wobbled now. Straight right is there. St. Pierre's really taking aim at that cut right now. Hard to blame him, right? They might even call him the ringside position. He is continuing to target that area. Hughes' overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one, and it gets blocked. Oh, he's got him on the side of the octagon. He's got his back. He needs to get his hips and lift. And Matt will turn him so that he can start to make him grapple with him. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, how about the... Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Hughes is really starting to bleed in and around that eye right now. That is not looking good, and you can be sure the ringside physician is watching the action closely now. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Ooh, strong kick on the arm. Look at him with all that pressure. He's trying to get tight. Oh, the submission defense holds up and gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Great job changing the position and getting that reversal. Hughes is swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. Oh, that gilly is tight. How did he get out again? I have no idea. 
How this guy has not tapped yet. The Hall of Famer Hughes going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes, mixing it up pretty well here. All right, so the blood continues to be a major factor in this fight. And I think at some point the referee's going to intervene with this. He hasn't been able to change anything, right? So it doesn't, we have no indication that he's going to be able to stay in this fight. The cut was open very early. Now we're at a point where it's going to be stopped due to all the blood and how limited he is in trying to stay in this fight. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, he's got his back. He's got to get him in the air and try to return it to the back. Hughes gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Like he's trying to isolate an arm here. Triangle now, DC. We'll see if he can push. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, a power bomb. So just when it looked like he might get submitted, he slams his opponent down with authority as the tide turns here. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just gotta move. Under a minute to go in round four. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other to see. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. It's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by GSP. Take down a Jeff late in the round, and he gets it. Oh, how about that? Strong reversal on the ground. Great submission defense. Just gotta be careful here. Buzzer huh. sounds for the end of round Stop. four. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. All right, take a seat, bro. He doesn't look as handsome as he Brad, did when he walked so out. That is a severe time. gash on his face. We knew this was going to be like this. We knew we were going to have a reward. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you because blood has really become a factor, and it's a cut that appears to be right above his eye. That's one of the worst spots for you to get a cut because then the blood starts to come down and it goes into the eye. It's difficult already to see, but when you got one of the best mixed martial artists in the world targeting it, it becomes impossible. They call that the trickle-down effect. You ready That's what that is? That's right. <laughs> ready. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Hughes. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Hughes' forehead is just leaking blood all over his face, all over the octagon. You want to see the fighter be given every benefit of every doubt, but I think that cut is bad enough to actually stop the fight. Right Focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Side control now. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Hughes. There it is, now he's going to mount. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Hughes. Well, that swelling, folks, is not from sodium. That is from a serious ground and pound attack from his opponent. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. All right, so back to the well with the elbows, and I guess if it's not broken, no need to fix it as he lands another combination. He's getting it so close that it's hard to land anything else, so he's 
short enough to his elbows, and they're landing beautifully. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Under three minutes remain in round five. While well, St. Pierre's in half goal. All right, side control now. He gets hit with another massive ground pound strike. He has got to protect this cut. Oh, great job by him there to reverse things and get the dominant position. Oh, elbows from the bottom now, okay. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the this feet. This is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling. That's exactly what they got in that exchange. Oh! Quick entry to get Man, in on a single. that was a great single. Solid takedown for him right there. speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Hughes is in half guard. So that cut continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut in the fight, you expect for it to worsen because you're not going to not get hit anymore. Right now, he's got to do something to try to limit the damage. Otherwise, it's going to get real bad. Hughes is looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Nice job by him there. He was being dominated and is able to reverse position. Oh, it's getting deep. It looks like he's getting closer to his arm triangle. All he's got to do now is isolate the arm. Get his head down. Good job by the champ there. Fine back up. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how how skilled both of these men are. You go. Oh! All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here or not. And busy as he looks to improve position here. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right, it turned. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Dorse. That Dorse is tight. Holding on to the submission attempt here. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Come on, Kimura now. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, oh that's it. That's it. Oh, Holy smokes. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening. And then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 55 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a Kimura and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, George Rush St. P. All right, so another green stripe for the Wikipedia page for one George St. Pierre, and this time he gets it done by submission. George St. Pierre has always taken his opponents down at will. Tonight, he was more willing to engage on the ground, and it led to a submission victory.